Hey everyone, video game lover here, and welcome to my PlayStation 1 collection. I've never done this in my five years of doing uh, YouTube as Video Game Lover 58, so I decided why not I show you guys my PS1 collection. Now, I don't have the many of the best PS1 games, but I do have a lot of games that are pretty decent. So without further ado, let's begin. Here is my PlayStation 1 Slim. Got this in a thrift store for a couple bucks. Works really good. I have a PS2 uh, Platinum, but some games have compatibility issues. So that's why I still have the PS1. One of the accessories I have is the Konami Justifier. Really nice to have. Sorry guys, I forgot this uh, controller. This is like a fine fighter pad for the PS1. I really love the D-pad. It works really good for games like Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Alright, on to the games. We got Stuart Little 2. <laughs> I only got this because I saw this rather than the cover. And I was like, what the hell is that? And then I turned it over to Stuart Little 2. I was like, oh. I only paid like a dollar for this game. And you know what? It's playable. It's not like good but it's not terrible it, it's passable whatever it's it's a dollar dukes of hazard uh i haven't finished this game it's actually again passable williams arcade hits this game is in every system i swear activision classic games i actually got this because this game was in pretty good shape but now i think i messed up the case it has a big crack to it GTA 2, one of, like, the first uh, PS1 games I found in the thrift store. Um, the Grand Theft Auto games, to me, didn't get good until 3. Destruction Derby, classic game for the PS1. Really fun little racer. NASCAR 99. Okay, let's get to some of the loose games. The original Wipeout, I actually have... Ah, damn it. I forgot to pull it out. The box to it. Sorry about me constantly pausing it, but yeah, here, here's the box. This is the only long box PlayStation 1 game I own. Mobile Life Force. I want to tell you guys this about this game. This game is actually Gunbird 1. This is the first Gunbird game, but for some reason when they brought it in the U.S. in 2003, they changed the name to Mobile Life Force, and it has like these like spy girls on it really strange i don't know why they did this but yeah this is actually the very first gunbird and it's a pretty decent uh shim up twisted metal 3 this is the only twisted metal game i sadly have so i wish i could get more all right let's get into this pile gran turismo 2 i couldn't get into this game i'm sorry guys i know there's a lot of people that love gran turismo i could not get into it Armor Core Project Fanta Phantasma. This game was made by Front From Software. I haven't played a whole lot of this game. It's pretty okay. Uh, let's get into this pile. Motor Racer. Army Man Air Attack. This is actually one of the few Army Man games that's actually pretty decent. But this game could really piss you off, especially the, the final boss. R-Types, a really cool collection. This is like R-Type 1 and 2 in one game. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, of course, classic game. Wipeout XL, which I actually like this more than the original Wipeout. That's just me. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. I know this is going to actually stun people. I actually couldn't get into this Tony Hawk game. I don't know. I just don't like the idea of like this open world. I don't know. I just couldn't get into that one. Project Hornow, a very obscure light gun rail shooter for the PlayStation 1, runs really well. It's a pretty decent game. It has anime cutscenes, which is interesting. Gunfire, The Legend of Jesse James. This is, in my opinion, one of the most underrated PlayStation 1 rail shooters out there. This game plays very well, and I love the music. This is a really good game. And the good news is you can find this game dirt cheap. Smackdown 2, Know Your Role, awesome game. I know I'm, I'm in the minority by saying this, but I actually think this game is a little runs better than No Mercy. I don't know, that's just me. 
WrestleMania the arcade game. Very good version of WrestleMania the arcade game. I do apologize. This is messy. I, I just I just decided to do this out of the blue. Whoop. Area 51. Awesome game. I love the PlayStation 1 version a lot. Mortal Kombat Trilogy, love this game. By the way, I want to mention this. For Area 51, you need the Konami Justifier for that game. It will not work with the Guncom. A lot of place, early PlayStation 1 games, you have to have the... Oh, these are PS2 games, my bad. You have to have the Justifier to play them. Alright, let's get to the really good stuff. Crash Bandicoot 1, awesome game. Actually, I have no idea why I paid 20 for that game. Crash Team Racing. Love this game. Awesome racer. Spyro 1. Spyro 2. Actually, I found this in a Goodwill for like a few dollars. Uh, I printed the cover, by the way. And Spyro 3. Amazing games. I love the Spyro games. Time Crisis. I can never beat this game. This game is so short, but I can't beat it. It's so freaking hard. God dang. Point Blank 3. Great game. King of the Fire is 99. This game pissed me off. I, I played this the other day, and this game really frustrated the hell out of me. I don't know why, but it it, it did. Um, Tekken 3, of course. Love Tekken. Love Tekken 3 so much. Metal Gear Solid 1, legendary game. I actually had to get two copies. The one that I had that I bought from the thrift store for like three bucks, the second disc was messed up. So I had to get another one. And of course, one of my favorite uh, games on the PlayStation, Air Combat. Love this game. Ace Combat 2. I think this is one of the best PlayStation 1 games. It plays so damn well. Ace Combat 3, this copy I have is messed up, so unfortunately I can't uh, give you guys an opinion of that. <laughs> I forgot to get one more game, sorry about that. Die Hard Trilogy, love this game, especially for the rail shooter. One of my favorite RPGs, Parasite Eve, love this game, love this game so much. And of course, Die on Crisis 1, Sexy Regina. And my favorite PlayStation 1 game of all time, Dino Crisis 2. Love Dino Crisis 1 and 2 so much, but 2 is my absolute favorite. So, but yeah, that's my PlayStation 1 collection. I know it's a big mess, but I love the PlayStation 1. I'm definitely going to try to get more games. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Video game over 58. Before I sign off, trust the process. Goodbye.